this is Frego Frog, a very hungry frog. He's on the first lily pad and he wants to eat a juicy bug that is on the fifth lily pad. The only way he can get there is to jump one lily pad at a time or two at a time. Something like this. There's one way and this is the second way. Also, there is an important connection between a credit card and Frego's way of jumping and we're going to discover what that is. Some people, such as manufacturers of TVs, architects, painters, photographers and others, already know the secret. Firstly, let's see how Frego can get to the fifth lily pad to reach the bug. To do that, we will complete the table. Please watch the following segment that will show how many ways Frego can get to two, three, four and five lily pads. <laughs> These are the results where we have extended the answers to include 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 lily pads. Do you see any pattern in the answers to the second column? 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 and so on. One way of describing the pattern is to say that the sum of any two consecutive numbers gives you the third number. For example, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8 and so on. Another interesting property is to take the ratio of consecutive numbers. The first two numbers are 1 and 2. The ratio is 2 divided by 1, which is 2. The next ratio gives us 1.5. And so on. Do you notice anything about the value of the ratio as we proceed down the sequence? It seems that the value converges or gets closer to the value 1.61. Now, what is the connection between the credit card and Frego's way of jumping? Here's Bart holding the credit card. It is 86 millimetres long, 54 millimetres wide. If we take the ratio, we see that the answer is about 1.6. That 1.6 is the ratio that we've obtained from our sequence. And that sequence is a very famous one. It is called the Fibonacci sequence. And when we take the ratio of consecutive terms for the sequence approaching infinity, the answer is the golden ratio. In fact, the exact value of the golden ratio is 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, which we took to be approximately 1.6. But why do we use such shapes? The basic reason is that they are pleasing to the human eye. The golden ratio exists in many cases in nature and humans have imitated its natural aesthetic property in such things as TV dimensions, credit cards, buildings, paintings and so on. Moving on from that in a related way is the Australian decimal currency. Many years ago we used to use one cent and two cent coins but no longer. But what we are interested in now is to see how many ways we can make a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on using just 1 cent and 2 cent coins. For a total of 1, there's really no choice. There's only one way of doing that and that is to use a 1 1 cent coin. For a total of 2, there are two ways. We can use 2 1 cent coins or 1 2 cent coin. For 3, there are 3 ways as you can see. And for 4, there are 5 ways. Extending that, and there's no room to show all the combinations using one and two cent coins, you can see what the results are. Again, is there a pattern to the values in column two? One, two, three, and so on. Yes, you've got it. It is our famous Fibonacci sequence, isn't it? Please find time to investigate the Fibonacci sequence in nature and in the way we use it in manufacture and other areas.